Hello guys, today Skip Automotive is going to be bringing you to you a Mitsubishi Mighty Max, it's an 87 and I'm going to be trying to fix these windows as you can see they don't go up no matter what I do they start to and then as you can see it jams so I got to figure out why it's doing that and when you start rolling it down it starts it slides down on its own when I got the truck, it was held up, the, the windows were being held up by wood planks. And then that side doesn't roll up at all, it doesn't even have the little knob down there. So we getting right back to that. Sorry, the car's a little dirty. The windows haven't been down, it's been windy. Stuff's been flying in here and I'm just trying to get this done. I'll be right back. Hello guys, Escape Automotive back here. The window, the regulator, window regulator and is all out on the left hand drive left hand door and the right door i did both they were both kind of quick there's only 16 bolts in total eight each door and the, so what you're going to do is first you're going to unscrew there's two bolts that'll be connected to the to the window down on the bottom right there you'll crank the window to where you can reach these two bolts where they would be at on both windows and when you do that the two openings are going to be right here. Mitsubishi had a little cutout for it so you can get to it easy. Next one's going to be over here. And literally they're 10 millimeters or you can use a screwdriver. I prefer to do, I use both. I cracked it with a 10 millimeter and an extension. And then I just went through with a regular screwdriver. And sorry, Phillips head. Got to correct myself there. Phillips and just unloosened it real quick with that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab the window from about, about right here, tilt it up. It's going to drop. It's, it's kind of scary because it's glass and, you know, and these windows are going to get kind of hard to find if you crack them. So, but it's not that, it's not that bad once you get the hang of it. So you pick, pick it up, tilt it and push it up. Then once you get up to the top right here, these things right here get in the way. I don't know if you can see them, these little clips for the w window to keep the water out. I forgot what they're called, but, um. If you angle it right, you can get in between them because, as you can see, it's not like it has it's like a bracket, it's already attached to the window. So, you have uh, this that this gets in the way, it's pretty not that not that hard. But if you get stuck right there, just know that that's the reason why you hit one of these and it's not, it's not going up. Just tilt it, angle it, it'll come right out. Also, while I was working on this door, I discovered that the door handle is reversed so, and somebody else has already been in here i've been having problems with this handle i thought it was just because it was broken because it doesn't open the door the door does lock but what's the point of having this without and a key with that's not going to open it but it does open it does open it up from when the window was down which is no problem because obviously this window we didn't want to go up all the way so that's gonna be that's this door now i'll show you the other door which i'll be fixing that later see and also you have to slam it pretty hard to close and, and it doesn't even close all the way and i was driving with my friend when that opened and i was like oh snap i should really look into that so i haven't driven it since that's happened and um see this, or it actually is correct the other side looked wrong sorry, sorry for that but as you can see this one is fully functional door locks i don't have the key for the door but it won't open from the outside unless you unlock it so that's gonna be cool. Be changing those right the the cylinder locks soon. Cause I have two keys for this damn thing. But these doors are filthy. There is no electricals going to the door because there's nothing really powered in the door. So I'm probably gonna take them off. Take I already took one mirror off. So I'm gonna repaint those. And I'll just do the regular primer coat, stock um, trim trim black, or maybe see if they have a gunmetal black. I think that would look kind of cool. So, but. And then um, I'm just going to probably disconnect these doors, clean them up, probably not a whole, in the future sand them down. And I'm going to make my own custom door cards because I can't find the stock ones. So I was talking to my grandfather and he says that it'll be quite simple to just get a, a big sheet of aluminum plank of a, not aluminum, oh yeah, aluminum sheet metal. And then we can easily fit them so they fit these clips and then we'll just use the stock things stock holes see that they have stuff that used to be then and but they're all broken out and we'll use uh i forgot what they're called but they're like um they're like rivets that i can press in and then they come with their screw or i think it's a 
I don't know, some kind of bolt, screw, something to fasten her, to fasten them down that we can use. And we'll have, I'll have stock door cards. It's gonna make a little noise, but I already, I already thought that through. I'm gonna, I'm also gonna be probably plan on putting that soundproof sheeting and some foam on the inside. So it's gonna be foam on the door, or soundproof sheeting, foam, sheet metal. So when I slam the door, as you hear right now, I hear that little rattle. It's not gonna make that rattle anymore. Or it shouldn't. So that's it for today's video. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and there'll be more videos coming out now that I have more time on my hands. I'm now working as a self-employment, not probably gonna be doing YouTube part-time and mostly full-time for all these, for Instacart and Uber Uber Eats. So help a brother out by like, like, cover, like commenting and subscribing.